You know from watching this channel that I pick up these guitars where I can. These are the Cremona with a K um, guitars. By the way, there's a really good um, documentary, I can't remember, I think it's on Prime, uh, Cremona to Cremona. And it talks about somebody who made the transition from the Cremona uh, factory in the Czech Republic where these and other guitars are made very fine guitars to Cremona with a C, the capital of um, violin making in Italy, the, the sort of home, the spiritual home of violin making, uh, where all the greats, Stradivari, Amati, Del Gesù, all the great uh, uh, violin makers of the, the 16th and 17th century, and today even, there's a, a great tradition, many shops, many top instruments being made. I just thought I'd point that out because I caught that recently. Very, very interesting. Um, this is a Rosa Moreno, and this is sort of a thinner profile um, flamenco guitar. I don't think you'll see it uh, in this light, but there are tap plates on both sides, clear tap plates, uh, solid spruce top with rosewood. So it's a, it's a negra, uh, there are uh, negra flamenco guitars, usually with a rosewood, a dark finish, uh, sorry, a dark wood. And then there are the blanca, which come with the cypress or the, the really light wood, uh, like the Cordoba F7 that I showed you a few videos back. Um, these are great. I think these are somewhere around 900. You probably can pick one up in the 5.6 range used. Um, but these are fantastic guitars, really, really well made. Uh, beautiful woods, you probably can't see the rosewood figure there, but it's really striking. Um, all one piece in the back, it's, there's no back seam. Um, uh, mahogany neck, uh, ebony fretboard on these. And actually quite light because the top is beautifully graduated to get that sort of flamenco <laughs> growl that you need. Um, I think I've shown one of these before on a video featuring two or three different models of Cremona, but I wanted to um, dedicate a video specifically to this model. This is the Rosa Moreno, uh, and it comes with a bone nut and saddle, a beautiful uh, Spanish style rosette. Um, it looks to be um, rosewood binding or some dark wood uh, binding around the edges. Um, really super guitar, fun to play. Uh, if you are interested in flamenco, um, this would be a great guitar to start on um, because it's hard to find flamenco guitars uh, in the affordable price ranges. Uh, probably the Cordoba F7 and then uh, the two or three um, flamenco guitars from Carmona would be a good place to start. Um, and, uh, you know, these are, are uh, almost as good uh, as a handmade guitar. I mean, the, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship. Uh, I've had good luck with guitars from Cremona. This one's no, no different. Um, it's really nicely made, great wood selection. Um, you know, good parts. They didn't skimp out on the parts. A really nice rosewood bridge with a, a ebony fretboard. Um, proper rosette you can feel where it's been uh, laid into the wood so it's not a sticker or a decal. Uh, these are great guitars. This is the Cremona Rosa Moreno um, RM. Uh, probably uh, that signifies the rosewood back uh, which makes it a, a negra rather than a blanca. But I just wanted to show you this. This one actually came with a nice uh, original Cremona gig bag which I've never seen before so if they're starting to ship with gig bags uh, that's fantastic I wish all companies would do that all right folks see you on the next one